Welcome to Caregiver Cast. My name is Mary Elaine Petrucci, your host. My guest today is Pei Ming Sun, who is also known as Sunny, who will be talking to us about tiny habits today. Uh, before I interview uh, Sunny, I will give you some background information about her. Pei Ming Sun, or also known as Sunny, was originally from Taiwan and has become a U.S. citizen since 19, uh, 2001. As an East-West navigator in the past 30 years, Sunny has become aware of her unique superpower to shine and serve others as a DNA life strategist. Sunny has experienced an amazing midlife transformation where she had effortlessly lost 35 pounds, became younger in appearance, experienced significant spiritual growth, turned her negativity into sustainable positivity, and boosted her energy and creativity by getting into flow state with ease. Sunny has a Master of Science degree in Molecular Biology, Microbiology, an Adult Learning and Training Design Certificate, and had worked in the pharmaceutical industry as a scientist for over 11 years. In addition, Sunny has earned her Distinguished Toastmaster designation from Toastmasters International in 2020, written two anthology books in May and August of 2021, and became a Tiny Habit Certified Coach in June of 2021. Sunny has built up her resilience, positivity, and life strategies through embracing various life situations as an immigrant, a single parent, and a long-term caregiver for her second son who has Duchenne muscular dystrophy. Sunny offers a one-to-one -one healthy habit coaching practice for all people and collaborates with people over 40 using cutting edge and evidence-based DNA strategies from ancient wisdom and modern science for sustainable joy, peace, and prosperity via her global hope movement. Welcome, Sunny, to Caregiver Cast. Well, thank you. Thank you for the introduction. I'm so exciting to be here to connect with people. I call it like a super, super hum humans in here because we are caregivers, right? Caregivers and, oh, that is a, such a great and honor role to serve through our lifetime. So honored to be here. Well, thank you very much. You're the super person who has done it for such a very long time. So I appreciate your caregiving um, experience and your journey as well, because I'm sure it's not easy being a long-term caregiver for your son. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. You really intrigued me with this DNA, DNA life strategist title. Um, <laughs> so um, can you tell us a little bit more about that? Sure. Um, I think I really have a unique relationship with the so-called DNA. That's our, you know, genetic codes. Um, I'm fascinated about it. That's why I become a molecular biologist by trades. Mm -hmm. And through the study of the science about DNA itself, like a molecule and how they do in the communication with it, I say, wow, this sounds like like human. Like we need to have different role and function, right? <laughs> then we mm -hmm. communicate, we try to, you know, build out the whole community. That's our body. It's the same thing. So I, I using that angle to study, um, mm. and I think it has a more fun, right? Other than just create some products. But then because might be kind of caregiver for my son who has uh, Duchenne, it's a genetic disease. So it made me to think about, wow, actually genetic code can decide, you know, he just have one single mutation. Mm -hmm. And get all this million of DNA money, he can have one single mutation and cause his body shut down to create mm. the dystrophin, that's the gene products. And that caused the muscle cell couldn't be bundled. 
So they start to deteriorate it because that important for the dystrophin to hold the cell together. So if we don't have that, cells start to die, the, mm-hmm. the, the muscle fibers. So if you think about that, <clears throat> significant one single mutation that causes this whole fate. Right. Um, so I think, and, and that's just why, you know, if the real life is fair, if we all talk about, you know, like people's opportunity, but what happened to people like my son? Mm-hmm. Right, they come mm-hmm. in here, they, they inherit it with something <clears throat> they cannot really change. But later on, I figured out in a, in a way to accept this whole thing is everybody still have one thing is equal, is the choice. Like how we choose to see mm-hmm. things, you know, mm-hmm. how we choose to feed ourselves, <laughs> how we choose to dealing with all the things. So from that moment, I realized I have a choice and things become easier and simple because yeah, we live in a very complicated life. We are mm-hmm. taking the kids to surgery and all this uh, medical cares and dealing with maybe you have some aid to come to your house to help and they are... You know, it's dealing with people is not never be easy, right? <laughs> no, <laughs> so I mean, not. it's just like, but I think the simplify is where I find out. It's just make that choice. We need to have conscious enough to make good choice because sometimes we say we don't have a choice. We just have to right. take it. That's because we're not seeing the whole situation. So I think for DNA strategists, for me, is because I have a relationship with the science, and I mm-hmm. also know the genetic impact on my son. In later years, I actually mm-hmm. follow through a lot of modern science. One of the things really just like amazed is that we all have this called telomeres mm-hmm. on the end of the chromosome. So that actually hold the chromosome intact, just like dystrophin gene, right? Oh, <laughs> so okay. Hold it things together. <laughs> uh-huh. Then we protect. We don't have the, you know, the DNA is very, very weak. When you have go out in the radiation, or even you take X-ray, you damage mm-hmm. your DNA. But the ability to repair is amazing. And the telomere is also protect the DNA. So the telomere, when it's getting shorter, it to, we suit up by divide the cells, then we losing the lens. Then eventually the cell will be programmed to die because mm. the telomere is gone. But our mindset can maintain that telomere in the right length. That again, go back to the cho- choice and um, our attitude, right? If we mm-hmm. make the right attitude choice <laughs> and that tea meal will be there and we become, mm-hmm. you know, we got more energy or we can become more tuning to our life purpose and mm. we have more of this energy, the positivity to influence everybody around me. That's how I say, well, I can definitely put that strategies and all my life journey and the mm-hmm. cutting edge science to help people really need help, like caregivers. We are double, double stress, our own stress and see the loved one couldn't, mm. be, you know, that double stress and plus, you know, got eight, maybe the triple stress. <laughs> so, <laughs> there you go. So, yeah. So that's why I want to be a strategist to help out. That is amazing. Thank you so much for sharing that. It's amazing. Like you said, that one gene can make so much difference in our life. Mm-hmm. However, it depends on how we look at our life. We can look at it as well. Okay, I have Duchenne and I can't do X, Y, and Z. Um, so maybe I should just, you know, not participate fully in life. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, mm-hmm. but yeah. I like the way that you've used your um, science background and your experience with your son to really um, see how the DNA really helps in those telomeres can really um, make a difference in our life. And it all, like you said, comes down to choice. Mm -hmm. And um, I think that is the hardest part for a caregiver when you're so stressed, like you're saying, you're double stressed, triple stressed. (laughs) And then, you know, 
how do you make a choice to be happy when you know you're facing this crisis in front of you that is a really um challenging situation to be in um, yes yes mm -hmm. so how do you deal with that then i mean how do you make those kind of choices when you have a caregiver or you have a crisis with your son how do you deal with yeah. that yeah i think uh, my east philosophy help a lot because uh, we all know since coming as a pairs, right? Mm -hmm. So something if we see is distress, then always have this, we can call silver lining, but it, it actually is continue. It's not only the line, it's like a continuous thing. So mm -hmm. if we can go through the look like struggles with all we can, but mm -hmm. we, we don't need to doubt so we have ability. Like a lot of people say, no one would give you something you couldn't take. Right. <laughs> so right. if you have exactly. the faith, you have this trust to say, yes, if I have to go through it, look like impossible. But I have no, no other options. Like for me, single mom with dying son, if I don't take care of myself, who's going to take care of him? You know, exactly. so in that choice, I think, you know, I have no way out. The only way is going forward. Right. But the going forward doesn't mean it's easy too like you need to i i consider i'm going through this um life boot camp <laughs> so i have to slay the dragon <laughs> i have to go in <laughs> that's so, a know, great analogy I, I make it like a game i think mm -hmm. i'm not doing that all the time it's just recent years i've been you know more than 10 years i say you know if i want to go through it i need to reserve my energy I need to take care of myself. I have to love myself or who I am. Other mm -hmm. than say, you know, I'd be punished by, you know, why I have to do that? Everybody strive through the career. I have to give up 20 years doing nothing just because I want to be a caregiver. That's what I decided to become. But then it's through the process. I say, I didn't waste my time. I need to go through those, right? <laughs> but it's just the moments I realize I can trust the process. I can just love myself more because look at back, every caregiver has a story. Mm -hmm. How good you are. And think about anybody you know, can they do that? Yeah, mm -hmm. not necessarily, only you. So, you know, you have to be like, oh gosh, I get this book and certificates. Mm -hmm. um, so I think from that moment, so you accept. You accept the whole pictures, not just because I have to accept. It's like, if I do this and go through it, what's on the end? And I do see something in the other side. And that's how I mm -hmm. say, wow, that's amazing. I didn't know, you know, I just like, I have no choice. I just push it forward, right? I just mm -hmm. do whatever I can. But once I do that, then it goes through it. Then I see the other side, which is, you know, just full of peace and joy. And they just like little kids and, become happy again, mm -hmm. then I can take, because I appreciate that actually. I appreciate my ex, give me this challenge. He cannot take care of us at all. I become a provider mm -hmm. and you know, I, I thank the mutation. <laughs> so I know he's limited, but it's not limited in, in, in here, right? In, in right. the heart. Um, they are he if he move on he's be here with me all the time I'm writing books I'm sharing the story he's always there mm -hmm. to inspire others so um, I really appreciate the time I actually become the caregiver to tell the stories to share um, what strategy how to take care of myself because that is fundamental thing we everybody love ourselves there is no nothing wrong with anybody else because those are the reflection based on I learned. So if we love ourselves, we trust mm -hmm. ourselves, we respect ourselves, everybody will follow the lead to do the same thing. But if we mm -hmm. don't, we just and then you find out why those people treat me like that. I don't deserve it. But we, we have to love ourselves first <laughs> so people can really be oh yeah like i respect you i really you know so it's really our choice if we want to be happy that's the only choice once you get happy you got your vibration up 
and you face it with, you know, the contentments, you know, you're not going to compete with something, but that might be not our past. We just need to, like for me, is stay 20 years of the career just mm -hmm. to survive. So I, you know, I drive food truck, mm. I run a restaurant, I do cooking instructions. I go to the TV and share people like how to cook Chinese way, you know, that's actually more fun, you know, compared mm. to being a scientist doing that and play with the corporate America rules and um, then lose my steam, <laughs> right? So mm -hmm. I think about, yeah, it's not easy, but everybody can do it. It's really, the refer to tiny habit that little behavior every day when you open your eyes go to the end you are lie down to appreciate your day oh that is such a powerful tools that's how i really want everybody to know there is so many many other tools that can help us to live happy oh my goodness you brought up so many golden nuggets there it's like your choice um you accepted your son's disease, um, that mutation, um, you look for what would, what is the purpose of that trial or that difficulty that I'm, that you're going through um, and finding out that you have more reserve inside you, whereas many other people don't have that to give to another person on a continual basis. So thank you so much for sharing that. Wow. Um, again, you've been through so many roles in identity shifts. Is there a game changer um, that makes you decide to turn your fear, um, your exhaustion into trust? How do you do that? Yeah, yeah. I think um, I go to the biggest fear I have, the loss and the death. Right, because um, I every mother, the the worst situation, you know, your your kid's gonna die before you, <laughs> mm -hmm. right? And uh, you mm -hmm. do everything you can, but it's genetic. How can you do it? Like we do have, you know, stem cells and all this technology, maybe advanced to do it, but you know, everybody need to move on. It's just sooner or later. So I study a lot of reason why you know the living the death the relationship is you know that's the in yin again and why we're here we're gonna die anyway you know mm -hmm. <laughs> those questions and, and i mean like we all ask that with the little kids but we don't serious about but when you get in a certain age and you're facing that every day your friend your family you know mm -hmm. you start to go deeper and say what is the purpose here right so I did read a lot of books and stuff, but what I think the turning point for me is I accept death. It's okay. part of the life. Mm -hmm. And what we can do is really the process, make it, because we all have the same destination, regardless of why you happen in the middle, right? <laughs> yeah, so exactly. I mean, like when you know the beginning and the end and everything matters is the process, then I begin to focus on the moments I can have. <clears throat> mm -hmm. And I think taking care of my son helped me too. I focus on abilities, not something lost. So the loss and deaths, I think if we can see a different lens, mm -hmm. being in a loss because something need to get going. So new thing can come. If we hold on the old thing forever, you know, nothing can come in to change our life. In order to do that, we have to let go, right? We have to mm. just open our arms and say, what next? Okay, show me the game piece. You know? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> That's why I, it's like, okay, so I can uh, flow with it now. I mean, if I can just, you know, trust ourselves, we do the training in the past. So now it's the test moments. We should just, mm. okay, come in this piece. I never see it before. And doing all body the same thing, you know, we'll fight a virus, bacteria, it's the same way. We never see that. Right. <clears throat> but we try to figure out what's the best way to manage that, right? Mm -hmm. So our mind can be like that too. You know, that's how I feel. I actually using all this go to the source of the fear, <clears throat> then and try to see what exactly what I can do. If that's the mm. process. If I cannot really 
interfere with that. The only thing I can do, make the choice, is something I have control. Like, right. um, you know, how I mm -hmm. live my life, how I treat myself, or how I say, how I think. Those things are inside my control. But all others, I just have to trust it. <laughs> if, you know, if that is I have to go through, I, I learned something along the way. Um, but if if I really do my best and still not going to where I want to go, I don't have a, the explanation, but at least I have the peace. I did everything. Mm. So I don't have a regrets. Even I, eh, I'm supposed, eh, I thought I'm supposed to be here, <laughs> but not necessarily our thought is really, is what we need to go, right? Because right. we have the picture about, something something you know somebody you know my but are we that somebody or something maybe we are different we may even better mm -hmm. you know in, in a way because again the yin yin again and we look at that you may be not good but you take all this time to care somebody you love and you let go with all the old belief or social conditioning you just want to be yourself mm -hmm. and do all you can that in my mind is going to get credits in the end. That's oh. what, I, what I see. <laughs> so even I don't get credit now, you know, I'm still accumulating, I'm still doing the roots, right? I still growing mm -hmm. on, even on the outside, I'm just a little bit, of, but look at all the ground you have. So that mm -hmm. reminds me of the bamboo, in the Chinese bamboo, they usually take years to root it. They don't have anything come out, but when they're ready, they shoot because they're root. right so mm. that's how i see that's my turning point i just continue to do some work and in outside i just get ready for my next task so that is the game changer i just focus on the moments i don't ask for too much because i know it's it's going to be the the process that matters not the end Boy, that is like so powerful, Sunny. <laughs> I mean, it, for um, you really, I, I love the idea that you have to focus in at the moment. You, you can have all these plans mm -hmm. where you think your life should be or what your day should look like when you're caring for your son. Mm -hmm. Things happen that we don't even know about and yes. are planned for. So, I, I love the idea of just accepting what's in front of you, accepting the process that you have to go through because it's really the journey mm -hmm. that you that you have in front of you. So make the best of it, regardless if it's not perfect. So you have a, a child with a genetic disorder or you have a parent with Alzheimer's the focus should really be not only on ourselves, but just on that person and accept them for who they are at that particular point in time, because that's something we can't change. So I love your philosophy, Sonny. It's, it's really, and I love that bamboo analogy um, where you're really, your caregiving experience um, really grows underneath you have all these branches and you have all these roots and you don't know which root is going to take you up or you know to be a, a different person so mm -hmm. I love that analogy thank you <laughs> very wise <laughs> <laughs> well I mean that's why the caregiver that's why you are all superhumans come on the world needs us because we have this full training and if we take care of our telomeres, then we'll be here a long time to share our wisdom. So take care of ourselves still the high priority, then we can impact others and take care of the loved ones and then we can shine in the end. So that's the really what I want to do become a DNA strategist. I have a strategist, I take care of your DNA. <laughs> then you take care of yourself and you take care of a loved one. Hey, the world is such a great place to be. So. That's the that's the whole community I'm trying to build too. Just we have to get together and have the hope together and everybody's happy at the same time, then we can definitely raise 
the vibrations. Oh, definitely. I love that idea of using your DNA life strategist to, like you said, be more positive, make a choice, um, grow those telomeres so that you can live longer, <laughs> that you can um, face whatever challenge you're going to have in your caregiving more effectively because you have all those roots to help you along yeah, yeah. so because yeah. like caregiving including yourself though so right sometimes we don't do that good <laughs> no we I don't didn't kill myself until three years ago so you know about this 20 years 17 years i don't take care of myself but three years really need it um then the impact is just i um we share in the beginning, I lose weight and I feel happy. It's only happening three years recently. So you can see we can change it <laughs> very quickly if we decide to. I love that. We have to make that choice and decide to change our life mm -hmm. so that it really impacts not only the person that we're caring for, but everybody else around us. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Very profound. So how did you become involved with this tiny habit philosophy or training? Um, was this after you started making that conscious choice to make these changes in your life? Well, the more I think is the synchronicity. I, I was okay. in the clubhouse and searching, you know, which room I want. And then I say tiny habit. I said, what is that? Like, what kind of habit is tiny habit? <laughs> <laughs> so I get into a room and I listen. They are sharing about the philosophy, the tiny habit methods, you know, need to have anchor moments of behavior and celebration. I got hooked with the celebration right away. That mm -hmm. is the missing pieces. Mm -hmm. I don't celebrate. I feel like this is not good enough. I need to be better, you know, but the celebrate is such a great thing. Once I start to listen, I, write, I bought a book first, then I say, wow. And they said they have a coaching to certify. I said, I'm just jumping right away. But through this learning, actually, the whole thing I do in the 20 years to take care is a tiny habit because I do tiny things every day, but I don't celebrate. That is the key point I'm missing in the 17 years that I'm doing it, but I'm, you know, not good feeling. But after I get a tiny habits and something like that, but before, yes, I do have a shift already, but it's the synchronicity shift me to that tool because I cannot really like Dr. BJ Fah has 20 years behavior study, right? Right. But he did it. <laughs> but I'm supposed to just change this knowledge to uh, some messengers mm -hmm. to share, right? So I become a ha the happy coach. And from there is really the celebration. The ABC is anchor moment, which your daily routine. You need a caregiver. We need to do self love first. Mm -hmm. So the the going up, how you wake up, and how you have a break, and how you to affirm yourself. You are here. You are mm. good. These are all the moments you can do in your routines. Then, um, then you have the behavior. We don't want to do too much because we really don't have a lot of time, right? You're taking you know, a lot of things, but you just need maybe five minutes or less to do something you feel you are in control. That's mm -hmm. the key because if mm -hmm. you can do it, you have confidence, you have control then you can gradually grow that behavior to be bigger. But the beginning is very tiny. Then it's set away. You have to say, I did it. Even I don't do it. Oh, I remember I didn't do it. Celebrate. <laughs> so, you know, mm. that is the key I don't have. So I think that's how ABC is so profound to everybody. Dr. BJ is, is impact too, because a lot of higher achievers or caregivers, single mom, we all stay in this some sort of the lacking or behind feeling mm -hmm. um, but in that abc the small wings every time you do something you can control and you celebrate that shift your vibration and i after i do certain behavior in there it never like that's how i so called sustainable possibility because you do need boost and the mm -hmm. way you use it not mm -hmm. to, you know, do a lot of luxury thing. It's just the daily wings and you celebrate. That be kind of such a powerful tool. That's how I'm so appreciate 
I got a chance to become a coach because that synchronicity, because I decided to listen, to, to learn something, either curiosity mm -hmm. lead us to something we need to, because just like if the student's ready, the teacher will show up, right? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. There you go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's how the tiny habit is. It's not really just like, yeah, one of the behavior that the BJ want to say, she frush one twos because he hate it. But he just flushed one, two, and he set up with like a big deal. And now he can flush the whole thing without efforts. Because that celebration made him feel good and successful in control. One, twos. If he liked to do 20, go ahead. But one day he wake up very grumpy, very angry. One, twos. He still celebrate. So that make a difference. Mm, I love that. You have to have an anchor. You have to make the choice to change your behavior. Yes, and you should celebrate. That is yes. so important, especially for a caregiver. You should celebrate that you did something for your loved one mm -hmm. and they so appreciated whatever you did. Yeah, you can celebrate with them. You say, hey, another day for you good for you <laughs> or yeah. something like that right or you mm -hmm. eat that yourself or you remember how to do this you know they they can sense even cannot communicate but i believe their soul somehow still can come back to connect with surrounding but we just need to be there to celebrate with it right you need to become aware of what the other person can do because they will surprise you when you mm -hmm. least expect it. Believe me, um, um, they will always let you know. So like my mother couldn't really communicate at the end mm -hmm. of her life. However, she had the facial expressions mm -hmm. and the body language and you knew exactly yeah. mm -hmm. what was going on in her mind. So you have to pick up on those nuances to really make those celebrations really count. So thank you for that. Um, so as a tiny habit certified coach, tell us a little bit more about the uh, tiny habits method. And um, can you share one popular tiny habit recipe with our audience? Sure, sure. I actually already kind of jump over there yes. a little bit. <laughs> I think you did. I'm just so excited about this method. So that's the tiny habit method, the ABC I mentioned. Yeah. Anchor movement yeah. is the right spots. You put that seeds. That's what you want to be or um, become or, or get, right? Mm -hmm. So you put that seed in the right moment. For example, if I want to drink more water, that you know we need to be hydrated to be healthy and i notice i don't have habit to drink enough water and i prefer to have drink at least to three times of the water right so the tiny habit can can be after i sit down to eat i would drink a cup of water first so that become your reminder your anchor moment eating the milk if you have three meal a day right before you dig in to uh hungry or something you pause tiny habit is really a strategic pauses so we can stop in the moment aware of what we're doing mm. so when we stop in that moment we sit down before we eat that is the moment you stop and you drink a cup of water right so that become the desired outcome you drink enough liquids throughout the day it can be tea can be something liquids um then you celebrate you can when you're going to eat you're not going to jumping around like crazy right? you can <laughs> smell say like that right you just yes. have a little reminder say hey i remember to drink water now so the abc is anchor moment you find a good spot to put it, the behavior you want and be simple as possible then uh, the celebration. So that's A, B, C. Okay. But the B is people will say, you know, what to be tiny. So the really the tiny is the first step. For mm -hmm. example, you want to go for a walk. What's the first step? Got to put, put on your, your shoes. shoes. Yeah, yeah. So that become like so regardless of the door. rain mm -hmm. or outside, mm -hmm. you put the shoes, you celebrate. But if that's the right timing, go for a walk. That's the bonuses. So the mm. tiny habit is not run, you know, running or walking for 20 minutes. It's just put shoes on. 
then you have a control okay. to put the shoes on, then you celebrate. Then the bonus is, yeah, yeah, go for a walk or something because you get this imprints, put the shoes on, it automatically you will go out to walk. So you're not force yourself to walk or run, but you'd keep the habit alive to put mm. the shoes on. Right. So this is the one of the habit. And the other I really want people to maybe find out is called Maui habits. Okay. It's the BJ's most popular one and the floss twos too. <laughs> <laughs> so the the Maui habit is like the moments we all has a lot of things going on. Sometimes we sleep with it, which is not a good habit. We need to just empty mm. it before we sleep. But we cannot do that all the time. So mm-hmm. whatever we can remind ourselves in the morning, though. So that behavior is uh, the anchor moment is after I put my feet on the ground. Mm. It's like he's ready to get up, right? And I was told to myself, this is going to be a good day. Then you can smile, you can get ready for your day. And, um, but we all know that sometimes lying, it's not going to be a good day. We're going to have love. <laughs> So Dr. B just said, how about this? Uh, This is going to be a good day somehow. So you still allow you to have a space to make that choice. So that is the Maui habit because he lived in Hawaii and the Maui habit, I think he's a story in the YouTube Mm -hmm. interest. You can try to check Maui habit by Dr. BJ. It's a profound, lovely, beautiful story behind. It's just so touching. So I just want you to check on that. To experience you. yourself, you know, it is mm. all you have it, but also set your tomb up. It's gonna be a good day, somehow, right? Because we can always choose to see good sides for something, maybe right. not everything, but mm. we should be able to see something good happen to us. So it's still a good day. If it's not a good day, they must have lesson to learn, right? If it's a good day, it's, yeah, we are happy with it. So either way, a good. That's, oh, uh, that's totally amazing. I love that um, ABC habit. Mm-hmm. So caregivers should be able to do that. Yes, yes. Just mm-hmm. like you say, one thing every day until it becomes a habit. Um, and I like the um, idea of waking up and knowing that it's going to be a good day, even though you feel like, you, you know, you're tired, you're still exhausted. But yeah. it's going to be a, a good day somehow. Yes, I exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We think yeah. when we hope. Um, you are, <laughs> this is so incredible with those tiny habits. It makes me, um, it just seems in one, on one hand, it's really simple, but it's so profound. Yeah, yeah. The pauses is really everybody needs our thoughts, you know, behavior, our emotions, and even uh, your our life. Mm-hmm. So I say the caregiver actually pauses for me. Twenty year pauses, I need it to mm. to find out what I can do. <laughs> so, but you know, it, 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 those pauses can be long, can be short, and I think people using different words for pauses like confrontation. It's mm. another one you think deeper, you pause a little bit, or space and time. They all pauses, um, but we need to use it strategically, though. Uh, if we are in the pause moods, we have to see what well, can I use the best of all that pauses. Other oh, than, you know, complaining and, uh, and then just dissolving with addictions or something <laughs> like that. So it's really our choice. It, yes, it gets back to your choice and how you're going to use that pause I love I love that you have a choice to make during that pause no matter how long it is so I I think that's again a really golden nugget um so what is your formula or your secret sauce to live with positivity when you're facing a lot of uncertainties like with your son not knowing when he may pass or you never know if your loved one with dementia is going to have a behavior change. Yes. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. can you give us some? Yeah, I have a framework, like I'm like a most scientist like framework, right? <laughs> <laughs> so my framework is peace, P-E-A-C-E. 
Well, it can be peace itself too, but the P is like perspective. We need to see ourselves differently. Uh -huh. So once you shift your perspective, you see things differently, mm -hmm. you accept your different level. So that's the P. And E is the um, energy. Like we all know our energy is going up and down. Like we need to tune in to our energy level. Mm. Don't they go against it. Like if you really need a break, tell people you need a break, you need help because you need to align. Then because we need to go down in order to boost. If we always want to boost, that become a, then you don't have a life, right? You know, right. Like, <laughs> this way. <laughs> so you really need to boost up. So the energy need to flow. You need to understand your your energy so you can flow with it. You know, if I'm a morning person, you do best things in the morning. If not, you find help or something like that. You know, don't force too much yourself. That's the E. And the A is the attentions like how you pay like attention while you do if you eating not right or you're thinking you know that's attention you need to pay oh i have that thought again mm, shouldn't and it didn't want to have the shoot or should not in there because that that give us stress so the attention shouldn't be any labeling or judgment it's just pay okay. attention observation without judgment Right, that I think that's my the mindfulness too. Like you have mm -hmm. to pay attention, but you don't judge. That's mindfulness. But I use the A as attention, and C is the choice. So make your choice, pick your battles. You know, get something you can control. That's O C, right? Mm -hmm. And the last E is just enjoy the process. With <sighs> you know, celebration, <laughs> you there know, you go. Like, have fun. So the peace, peace is my framework to keep it all the time. And I actually using that to modify my Maui habits. So in other say, you know, it's going to be a good day. I told myself peace, <gasps> I come in peace. <laughs> so I use that to start my day. So peace for everyone. Hopefully maybe you can use it and try it. You, you can see that may really make a difference and pause in the morning, not to rush to get things done. Just be peace. That's wonderful. So P is positivity, E is energy, A is attention, C is control, and E is to enjoy it. Wow. Yeah, the first P can be per perspective. Uh, right? it, yes, yeah, your perspective. Positivity is too, like your perspective, perspective. is positive, right? <laughs> so yeah, thank you yeah. for that. Yes. <laughs> thank you for um, making that switch because I think that uh, your perspective is the thing that is the key to everything. So <laughs> thank you for that. So, Sunny, you, you've, this has been an incredible um, interview. What are the key benefits for people who want to work with you? Because obviously you have so much joy and energy. So tell us how we can work with you. Well, that's why I don't call myself coach. I call strategist. I am designed a strategist with you mm. through your personal life. And um, I can, because my own journey, I can see maybe you are stuck in the same place. So mm -hmm. I can maybe work with you to see what you see, what the choice you can do right now, because we cannot be overnight, become somebody totally no problem. Everybody has problem, right? <laughs> so we need to focus on something, the right. top priority, which is your self-love, your, your health. Mm -hmm. now once that's how my program is more like, um, give you the strategy and I go deep dive with your lifestyle and give you a suggestion Then you work on that and we can refine together to see where that work for you. Then I give you the space. I want you to be your own observer. Mm. So you can start documenting what the differences I have. Then you maybe write a story. Who knows? You can be your know, best book seller after this, <laughs> right? <laughs> With all the transformation you have. Mm -hmm. So I mean, this is the, the the way I want to support my my people over 40, particularly for women, they are really kind of identity stuck because we need to change the perspective to ourselves, right? Right. So through all this uh 
strategies and maybe knowledge and wisdom I have, then I want to see everybody become who they are. We all have the right, the birthright to live who we are, right? That's and incredible. That's the, yeah. that's the most things I can see is that, oh, yeah. you finally find yourself. <laughs> you finally become the shiny star you're supposed to be. And uh, what I mm. use, I'm using a lot of ancient wisdom, um, maybe a little bit paradoxical, but they are so powerful. It's simple. It's just we didn't see it by we choose not to see it, right? Right. Um, but, and mm. also with the cutting age, like tiny habits, this is all science and telomere. It's mm -hmm. all science, right? So there's not like um, our ancestors say, well, they live in different life, you know? 5,000 years in life in here is not the same. We couldn't totally adapt to their life. No. To say, yeah, that mm -hmm. is the way to do. You know, you have to eat this, you have to sleep like that. It's like, oh, no way. It's too far <laughs> to jump, right? <laughs> so that's why the personalized uh, self care, self love plans. And eventually, if you want to work with me inside us, um, the Hope Society, we can co-promote you for your business or your books or anything like that. It's the potential because mm -hmm. we do need to have collective energy together. Then we can all support one another up. So that is the long-term goal. But one-on-one -on -one so far for me is just to see you, to love yourself more and understand there is other things I actually doing. It's just on the ground we don't see yet. But I want people to see that because I didn't see it for 17 years, right? <laughs> <laughs> but I say, whoa, once I see, I change my perspective. I say, wow. Mm. Mm. So yeah, and plus we'll be in the very just like now. I like to talk about stories and joke around it. And you maybe feel light, you know, you maybe have one hour time if you want to talk to me and hire me just to understand your situations. I'm here for you. I give you space and time. You just, I don't have a judgment because this everything is good. I don't have a way to say that's bad <laughs> because everything has two sides. So if we feel bad, yeah, we only see the bad side. But if we start to train ourselves as observers, there's so many things we didn't see. That is really, again, very profound. Um, so you've summarized everything in a great way. So you have to ha find your peace. You have to do your um, habits. You have to change your perspective, which is the major thing that a lot of us don't um, realize that we have that control. And um, just be in the moment. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So if they want to explore more with you, how would they, what you um, have a free offering for our audience today? Can you share that with us, please? Sure, sure. Um, I have a monthly uh, Zoom workshop, like a Zoom uh, one hour every third Fridays, about um, eight o'clock Eastern Standard Time. So when that one hour is, I want to provide a social networking space where people just uh, go mm. to the break room and you know, 15 minutes, they share um, why they're here for and what DNA helps mean to them or that kind of thing. Then I will have a half hour presentation about the cutting edges of the DNA health and how we can maintain our health and all that. Then we allow the Q and A to the, the room and after that, I will follow up with you for a 30 minutes free consultation. If you think anything you really mm. want to work and see whether you need my supports or I can just give you some tiny habit, you go ahead <laughs> to mm. practice your tiny habit. So that is um, every third Friday of the month, mm. I offer a free workshop in Zoom. And also because tiny habit coach, I have this Friday platform by um, Tiny Habit Academy. Right now, actually, this week is uh, Valentine's week. We have a special week for it. 
And we do this Friday email program, which means give you the recipes. You can choose what recipe you want to work on, the ABC. Right. And um, then mm. you go through Fridays and tell me each day you did it or not did it. I can refine that with you. That's totally free, Fridays. And in the mm. end of Friday, I also have a Q&A on Saturday. So just check it out, connect with me. The best way to find me is through my linking. Uh, profile or the link tree. So okay. I will provide both in here for anybody who want to connect with me because really I'm here to serve because I really see everybody, those people like caregivers, the single moms and immigrants is really deep in my heart. They mm. need to know they are amazing. Without them, really the family is not going to work you know the country couldn't really be thriving either <laughs> oh, you know that even mm -hmm. when coming here to do certain work nobody want to do or available to do they are the fundamental they are the the creator the builder that's what we are right we are all providing we are serving but we need to know we are important so that is my uh, hope again, to be a whole society, then we can work together in a different level of life. Because someone can be very successful, but all of a sudden they have to go home to take care of the, the parents. Mm -hmm. And they really adjust the identity. Exactly. Not, right? No. Or somebody's always in the low and then that all their life, they don't see any lights in the tunnel. They have to know they are in the right spot to be happy. You don't need to wait until you go to the top. Right? Oh. So it's all the shift. <laughs> we can only do together to transform together. Either I cannot be one on one going to save everybody. Hey, no way. You know, mm -hmm. I would just read it to be a society. Everybody can, oh, that's something I can, then they can implement it to their own business, their family, their company. Then we all live the same philosophy, just peace in everywhere. Then that would be the great thing to happen. Oh, I, that is again, so profound. Yes, we need to really work together as a society to build it up because we are like the pillars of society. So, and especially caregivers who don't receive that recognition at all from either yeah. their family or the community or friends or mm -hmm. um, our community as a whole. So, Thank you so much. We will post um, that information about your free offer. That is really um, a fantastic gift. So thank you so much um, for the offer. And thank you again for such an incredible interview. Um, you certainly have me wanting to change a habit <laughs> using your ABC strategy more frequently. So thank you so much for being here today. Oh, it's my pleasure. Thank you so much for having me. I have this opportunity to chat. I like to be talking and uh, just have fun and know people. So appreciate this opportunity. Well, thank you again. Um, and I applaud you for your caregiving efforts with your son. I know that must be really challenging when you know that um, you never know, I guess, when he will pass. So um, yes. that must be such a weight on your mind every day. So thank you for sharing everything and about these tiny habits. I think and um, I think caregivers received a lot of golden nuggets here today. So thank you. No problem. Thank you. Take care. You too. <laughs>